Deuteronomy 28, 64, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Double honest, the apostles and elders of great millstone, where I learned this truth from. Peace and salutations are brought on down, teaching, preaching, pushing this gospel. Good news to four corners of the earth, waking up the hopeful elect of the house of Israel. Greetings also to the few sisters that tune these video epistles. Hope you're edifying and built up by the power that is coming out of this book. It's our book, a holy book for the holy people. We call it a lesson. I might move these words around, but the black church has got to return to this here. The black church is built by this white man. And it's an induced coma. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and we just read there in the uh, scripture. Let's go straight back to the hour. Paul, his name is Yahweh, his only begotten son is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And we are the true children of Israel. They're calling us five words. You see in this same chapter all the curses, and that's one of them. To not be recognized as the true children of Israel. Looks like the rain is going to be coming down and these two main religions that got our people all bound up into a coma we're going to get this word here the definition of christianity and this islam is all madness set up by the false prophet to trap the children of israel this edomite that's who he is calling himself the white man the massa who's long left the building but our folk are still bound up he's an atheist he doesn't believe in any god he's put himself up saying well, i'm god he has his own god he doesn't even worship him he doesn't care about him he's just putting himself up and he wants you to believe in his lies let's get john got a few here in john let's get john 14 to begin with john 14 let's go from 21 he that keepeth red letter yahweh is speaking he that hath my commandments and keepeth them he it is that loveth me and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father and i will love him and will manifest myself to him we we're interested in these words that the apostle and elders of great millstone they push that you should look up words and be interested to know the true definitions of words manifest me to make known that which was hidden so i will manifest it's, all, it's future tense. We want to say something about that. Judah said unto him, Not Iscariot, this is the blood brother of Yahweh Shai, our Lord. Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? And then you read these words and something else just pops up and you say, Oh, have another look at this. Wilt manifest. This is another reincarnation scripture for those who don't understand or accept reincarnation it's in the bible it's taught it it all makes sense how wilt thou manifest how are you going to do it so we're here talking to you now but how are you going to do it this is a future tense re meaning back in and carne carne is do the flesh your soul back into the flesh when you die your spirit separates from your body the body goes into the earth the spirit goes back where it comes from to our father and his only begotten son who made you and you have to give an account and in the third and fourth generation you come back to serve out reward or punishment on the earth so this is will manifest it's a future tense verse 23 yahweh shall i answered and said unto him if a man love me he will keep my words and my father will love him see it's in the future. This is another time when you're going to keep coming back. Keep coming back in your lot. And I'm going to keep manifesting myself unto you. You're always going to know who you are. Who I am. My true name. And we will come unto him and make our abode with him. See? Love this. Will manifest. Mm. And these are Hebrew Israelites up in these so-called black churches they're being awakened and removed from the coma 
a deep slumber, deep sleep. That's if they're of the elect remnant chosen, as it specifies in um, in Ephesians 1, especially, and elsewhere. Those predestined, foreknown, foreknowledge, before the earth began, it's all picked up by who? By our power, Yahweh, means he is he to be. He's chosen, he's made the election. And if you're not chosen, well, fire is coming for you. He's the one who's doing the deciding. He's the one who's doing the choosing. If you don't like it, take it up with me. It's got nothing to do. Take it up with him. Nothing to do with me, I should say. John 4, 21. Yahweh Shai says unto her, woman, believe me, the, <clears throat> the hour cometh when he shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Why not? Ye worship, ye know not what. He said, you don't know what you're doing. This is a heathen woman. You have to think the uh, story here is in is in Second Kings, maybe 17, to get the history on that. Who are these people? What are they doing in the land? We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. That's to say, it's got nothing to do with you. Salvation is only for his people. There is an elect chosen, the Hebrew Israelites. And if they're of the elect, they're going to be saved. If not, you're going to have to come back in the reincarnation through the lines of the elect, if providing you're a Hebrew Israelite. Trace your lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let's get, we've got this word here, induced coma in the title. Let's get the definition for induced. A few words associated with that word there. To bring about by influence or stimulation. Got that? What about money and sex? Those are two things that really stimulate our folk. And the majority of us was brought up in these uh, churches. And unless you get that tap on the shoulder, as one of the apostles often speaks about, you would still be in there yelling and screaming, clapping and dancing, not understanding who you are and who is the devil who's getting ready to come down with great wrath. Let's read something about him, Second Thessalonians 2. It's this so-called white man, verse 3, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Well, 66 to 73 AD was the first part of this falling away, but we're still in that state now who oppose it and exalt it himself above all that is called the most high or that is worship so that he as god sitteth in the temple of the most high showing himself that he is the power see and you could keep reading this jump down to nine even him whose coming is after the working of satan satanos means adverse what is he adverse to he is adverse to righteousness every law that he puts up is in is adversarial to the truth he is a liar right from the beginning where am i even him whose coming is after the working of satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved and this jebus character Jebus, J.C., just like the Muhammad, so it's the wooden stone. This is what is represented by these false prophets, false religion. It's all lies, strong delusion. And the rejected find themselves stuck in these places and they can't get out. Matthew 13. I've read this for a while. Where is it? Matthew 13. Love reading it. Uh, 10 and 11. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Yeah, I wish I kept speaking over their heads. The, the, the disciples were troubled and came and said, Well, why do you keep doing this? They don't understand what you're saying. And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you 
to know the mysteries. That's the hidden truths of what? Of the kingdom, the domicile of the kings of heaven. But to them, it is not given. And it goes on to list there. I don't want them to understand. This is the terrifying reality. People don't like to face it. Matthew 1 and 21. And she, speaking of Mary, shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Yahawashai. It means he is salvation. He's our deliverer. Redeemer. For he, Yahawashai, the Redeemer, he shall save his people from their sins. Well, who's under the law of sin? Who's under the law? Who is it that can sin? Well, it's the children of Israel. There's nobody else who's involved in this covenant oath, the blood covenant made between our power and the children of Israel. That's who, that's who we are. He shall, she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name the Deliverer. He call his name Salvation, Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. Nothing to do with anybody else. You're not going to be saved. If you're in the kingdom, you're going to be subject under the rule of Yahweh Shai and his people. Act 5. 30 31 then the power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai whom ye slew and hanged on a tree him hath Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior why for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins his people their sins and it's all over the places it's strong delusion you're going to be the brother used this phrase the other day I can be beamed up into one of the chariots or burned up with the fire from the nuclear weapons thermonuclear war is coming I'm still up in one of these black churches clapping and dancing and frothing at their mouth and all this blah, 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 and can't understand who you are don't understand who the devil is you don't accept the truth you don't know the true names it's not been revealed unto you then you're going to be lost. The time to escape is running out. The RFID microchip is right here. People are getting it now, whether the, the brain chip implant or the one in the right, left hand, where, whatever, wherever they put it. This is being induced. It's like uh, be, being hypnotized by Esau Edom, all his madness. He's long since left the building. And you're still there. He's coming with his latest trick. He wants to play God. So he's coming with his artificial intelligence. And his microchip is right there. We are wanting to know. Are you going to keep uh, uh, sleepwalking in this kind of hypnotized state, comatose state? And you're going to get chipped by this man. This is a false prophet. He's a liar and a deceiver. He's doing his job. Let's wrap up with Matthew 24, 30. And then this all red letter shall appear, the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. It's not everyone who can be saved. It's not everyone who will be saved. He's manifesting his name unto his people. Let's wrap up. Let's get this last. As we said that, just trigger me to get this favorite of mine. John 17 and 6. I have manifested red letter. I wish I was speaking to his father, our father, John 17, 6, I have manifested thy name, what's his name, unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world, thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. We're going to hold it there for the lesson. We give thanks. This man is a false prophet. All these churches is not interested in teaching the truth. They're built to hide the truth from the true children of Israel. It's all lies and it's being unraveled as we speak. You've been listening to the black church. 
built by a white man, he saw Edom, is an induced coma. Shalom. Till the next lesson. We don't fear him. Come with the microchip. We fear our power. Yahweh. Yahweh. Yahweh.